If you do not take care of the environment, it will fight back in different forms. Hence, the need for all hands to be on deck to protect it. This advice came up during a cleanup exercise at the Alpha Beach in Lagos. Residents were charged on the need to ensure a clean environment and proper waste management, which will go a long way to protecting not just the health of the earth, but humans in general. Trash left on the beach is not just unattractive, it can wash back into the water and create safety hazards for visitors and aquatic life. From oceans to lakes to rivers, organizing a beach cleanup is a wonderful way to do good while also enjoying the beauty of the ocean. So, for these volunteers, the assignment is simple. If they clean up the beach, they are preserving their aquatic life and also the future generations. Nigeria is estimated to generate about 2.5 million tons of plastic waste annually. Plastic accounts for 15% of the total waste generated in Lagos State. Olakbeju Ibekwe is passionate about the health of the environment. Her foundation has, over time, organized sensitization such as this to change the narrative of endangerment of the environment. Ibekwe speaks on the dangers of plastic pollution as she hints that this cleanup is holding simultaneously across 27 other states. We live at a time that it's getting increasingly scary that if we do not take care of the environment, it's going to fight back. And this is in different forms. Today we are at Alpha Beach and we've been reliably informed that just some time ago there was an ocean surge that really made residents to flee this area. This has been ongoing for a while. It is time for everyone to be intentional about protecting the environment. So what you are doing whenever you throw plastic away carelessly or do not manage plastic properly is that you are creating a hazard that can live well beyond your time. That is why it is important for us to manage our plastic properly. For the state government, effective collaboration with relevant stakeholders is a sure way to go to sustaining the environment. Other stakeholders are unanimous that cleaning up of the environment, including the beaches, should be domesticated so it will not be an occasional habit. We know the challenges we have with our environment, waste management issues, pollution issues, and the likes, you know, abuses, contraventions that has really put the entire society or environment in a big mess. So we cannot but you know collaborate from the Ministry of uh, Environment. We cannot but collaborate with uh, responsible agencies and bodies that are willing to come up with initiatives that help us, you know, set the the damages on the reverse. I think we need to make it cultural, we need to make it a habit. First to stop littering the environment with uh, all kinds of refuse and make it a point of duty to clean, to join the cleaning. Not only when we have special events and uh, activity like this, but periodically because it's in the interest of everyone. Uh, we don't just do it one-off, we do it very consistently. I recall that uh, sometimes this year we were also at the Elegushi Beach. Uh, and we had that uh, very event which was also very colorful and um, we also cleaned up that beach. And this is uh, some, one of so many of the auditions that is, um, is happening. Again, if you want to look into the en entire global environmental um, impact or uh, the importance across you know, the SDG um, goals, uh, this is one of the importance of keeping our environment very clean. Through this regular cleanup exercise at the beach, Olakbeju and her foundation has succeeded in reducing poverty and producing an alternative source of income for the women and the youths involved by picking up and selling plastic wastes. Justin Akadoni, Plastic News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.